Hi everyone, and welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. We are going to be doing a French tin specific video here today, just talking again, what is a French tin? We're gonna talk about the different um, types of French tins, how you get to a French tin, and all the different colors you can get in a French tin. So if you guys are new and maybe you're looking up what is a French tin or you're searching on YouTube and you heard about a French tin and you found in this video, well, you definitely came to the right place. You're gonna wanna listen in. Um, because we have a perfect example of some French Tin puppies here that are just around four weeks old that I can share with you and uh, help you um, understand what more uh, what a French Tin is and everything. So, all right, guys. So let's get into it. Number one thing about a French Tin that people ought to know, obviously, is that it's a French Bulldog bred to a Boston Terrier. That's the normal 50/50 French Tin that you can have. Um, again, a, a French Bulldog bred to a Boston Terrier. Now there is a three-quarter French Tin. Um, that you probably haven't heard of, which is actually what these are here. This is a French Bulldog bred to a actual French Tin, which um, is a purebred French Bulldog bred to a 50-50 um, French Tin. So the mom of the mom is a half French Tin or half French Bulldog and half Boston Terrier. So that's how you get a French Tin. And normally with the French Tins, you're going to normally get, as far as colors go, you're going to find the brindles, you're going to get the blacks, um, you're going to get the standard kind of Boston Terrier look. Um, that's if you breed to a black and white female Boston Terrier. Now, you know, if there are blue and there are, are red, or um, some people call it champagne colored Boston Terriers, that if you breed those to a French Bulldog, depending on the DNA, color DNA, um, for 50-50s, you can get some of the blues and uh, Merle French tins, so. But as far as a three-quarter French tins, that's where you can really get your color DNA down and get some beautiful looking um, French tin puppies like this. As far as personalities go with the French tin, 50-50 uh, is gonna be a little bit more athletic, more agile, more like the Boston Terrier. The Boston Terrier definitely, they have some high energy, in my opinion, compared to the, compared to the French Bulldogs you guys back in your bed. There you go. Yeah, you guys are getting sleepy. It's kind of hot out. So the Boston Terriers have more high energy, so with a French Tin, you're going to have a little bit more high energy, more active um, dog compared to a French Bulldog. Obviously, it's super sweet, super smart, easy to train, not quite as stubborn maybe as a French Bulldog, um, and they just love attention. So they're definitely, I mean, they got that unique personality like a French Bulldog does. That makes everybody laugh and makes them fall in love with this breed, like a French Bulldog. So they get a lot of the best of both worlds with the two different breeds, for sure. Um, if you guys want to have more information on French tins, I would recommend going to our website at woodlandfrenchies.com. You can click on our nursery page. You can see there's a French tin button there, and you can see all the puppies we have. Then you click the more info button there, and you can see the mom and the dad. And just get a really good understanding of what it takes to get a French Tin puppy. So we'll, there's a lot of information on our on our website as far as yeah how a French Tins, um, what it takes yeah to breed and raise French Tin puppies. So but yeah, if you hopefully you guys got all your questions answered about our French Tins, and if you are looking for one, definitely give us a call. This little guy is still available. Love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day.